Hello children. In the last video, we discussed some questions of application of linear equations in one variable. In this video again, we will continue with the application of linear equations in one variable. So we take up one problem on applications of linear equation in one variable. Three consecutive integers are such that when they are taken in increasing order and multiplied by 2, 3 and 4 respectively, they add up to 74. Find these numbers. Consecutive, we have already said what is the meaning of consecutive which comes one after the other. So, three consecutive integers and they are to be taken in such a way in increasing order. Increasing means smallest to greatest. And then they have to be multiplied by 2, 3 and 4 respectively. The sum of those come up to come, come as 74. Find these numbers. So, let's start with the, what do we have to find out? numbers. So, such word problems, first of all, we have already discussed in the previous video also. To solve such problems, we have to assume that we are going to find out the numbers here. So, let's say the numbers B, because they are consecutive integers, three consecutive integers. So, let's take the three consecutive integers to be, let the three consecutive integers be taken as, let the three consecutive integers be taken as x, x plus 1 and x plus 2. Consecutive means ek ke baad ek, coming after one after one, coming after one another. So coming after one another that means one after the other that is what we call consecutive as. So the, these are the three consecutive integers that we have assumed and now increasing order mein liya hai, wo bhi increasing order mein liya hai humne. we have made sure that they are in the increasing order. They have to be multiplied by 2, 3 and 4 respectively. So you have to multiply these by 2, 3 and 4 respectively. Let's multiply. So x into 2 is 2x. 3 into x plus 1 is 3 into x plus times x plus 1. 4 times x plus 2, 4 into x plus 2. So after multiplying these integers by 2, 3 and 4 respectively, in this order. In the given order, like 2 with first integer, 3 you have to multiply with second integer, 4 you have to multiply with third integer. So the sum is coming up as when you add them, the result is coming out equal to 74. So we've got the equation. Now it's very simple to solve it. Like terms solve karne bale to bracket open kar lije first. 3 into x plus 3 into 1. Distributive property, 3 times x plus 1 as 3 into x plus 3 into 1. So, after solving the bracket here also 4 times x plus 4 into 2, 8. So, we can now solve the like terms on the left hand side of the equation 2x, 3x, 4x. Total of these two is, add them 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 4, 9x. And the unlike terms, that is the terms which are not containing x, which are constants. Shift 8 and 3 on the other side. Bring them on the other side. So, it's 74 minus 3 minus 8. So we brought 3 and 8 on the other side. So let's see what do we get. 9x equal to 74 minus 3 minus 8. You know how to solve two like integers. Two integers having the same sign. You have to add them and assign the common sign which is minus 2. 11. So 8, 3 plus 8 11 and minus which is common to both has been assigned with 11. That's how we get it as 9x is equal to what is 74 minus 11. Solve it. 63. So x is equal to 63 upon 9. So what do we get the result as x ko up ki x ki value ki ajati it. We divide 63 by 9. 9 ki table mein 63 ka baata 9 times 7 is 63. So 9 7 is 63. So x is 7. After getting x as 7 we can find out the remaining two integers as 7 plus 1 8. 7 plus 2, 9. So, the required numbers are, we have to find the numbers. Therefore, the required, therefore, the required numbers or required integers, we can say anything. Yes, integers with the numbers and the required numbers are, x is 7, is ke baad kya aega? 7 plus 1, 8 and then 7 plus 2, 9. 7, 8 and 9. As they are consecutive, obviously, 7, 8 and 9. You can easily see the result that we have got 7, 8 and 9. Uh, is it right or not? Check ka sakte hai. 7 ko me 2 times se multiply karenge. 7 to sa kya aata hai? 14. Check karna hai. So you can check your answer. 7 times 2. 14. 
because that's what they said we have to multiply the first integer by 2 third second integer we have to multiply by 3 so 3 times 8 kitna hua 3 times 8 24 second integer 8 hai so 3 times karna and third integer ka 4 times karna so 9 ka 4 times kitna hai 36 total kitna aata hai check karte hain let's see the total should come out as 74 that's what the requirement of the question is 14 plus 24 38 38 plus 36 kitna hua 74 that means the numbers that we have got 7, 8 and 9 are correct. Likewise, we can continue with more questions of application. Alright children, this is next question on the application of word problems. Space and numbers again. Like the previous question, the sum of 3 consecutive. Again consecutive, multiples of 8. What are the multiples of 8 which comes in the table of 8? So any number which is a multiple of 8 would be of like this type. Let's see, understand the multiple meaning of multiples of 8 first. 8 ke multiples kaise honge? 8 ke table mein jo numbers aate hain, wo 8 ke multiple hain. These are the multiples of 8. 8 to 16, 8 to 24, 8 to 32, 8 to 40. So you can see the multiples of 8 are of this type. The multiples of 8 means which comes in the table of 8. So the first and second multiple of 8. Third multiple of 8. You just see the pattern there. The difference between the consecutive multiples of 8 is plus 8 natural so if any three numbers if you take consecutive multiples of 8 you have to consider so pehla agar aap x le lete hain so kya hoga x plus 8 as you can see 16 and 8 mein difference kitna hai 8 ka in fact each and every multiple of 8 has is uh, 8 more than the previous multiple of 8 24 plus 8 is 32 32 plus 8 is 40 so every single multiple of 8 is what? It's 8 more than naturally, then only it will be a multiple of 8. So, if we take one of the multiples to be let, the answer, we begin the answer like this, let the multiples, the three consecutive multiples of 8 be taken as, let the three consecutive, consecutive multiples of 8 be taken as, a, x le le tenk, uske next ke x plus 8, why? Because as we said, every single multiple of 8 starting from after 8 onwards is 8 more than the previous one. So, if first x is the next kya x plus 8. What is x plus 8? Ke baad wala kya x plus add 8 to the previous multiple. x plus 8 may add. x plus 8 may add. 8 add karing to kya aega? x plus 16 aega. So, third multiple kya aega x plus 16. So, so, the three consecutive multiples of 8 are x x plus 8 and x plus 16 difference of 8 each multiple of 8 is, is 8 more than the previous one first multiple agar x liya hai uske baad agla multiple aayega it will be obtained by eight, adding 8 to the previous one dekhiye 8 add kiya to second multiple aa gaya third multiple ab wo kaise mila just add 8 to the second multiple you get the third multiple of 8 so that's what the three consecutive multiples of 8 would look like hame x nikalna hai Question mein diya the sum of these three is triple eight. So, this ko is information ko use kar lete hain. We'll get the equation. According to the question, according to the information given in the question, we can just equate the sum of these three multiples of eight. We can equate it to triple eight. It's given in the question that the sum of these three consecutive multiples of eight is triple eight. Now we can solve the equation, all the like terms, x terms we can solve together. 3x's are there. So we get 3x, 8 plus 16 is 24, which we can shift on, which we can transpose on the right hand side in the next step. So 24 plus 24 to be brought on the right side, the sign will get reversed. Triple 8 minus 24. So we get 3x is equal to, subtract, we get 864 you can check for yourself so we've got the value of 3x what will be the value of x then divide by 3 on both the sides so divide by 3 kia so what do we get 864 divided by 3 kitna hua 3 to the 6 divided 6 to 3 8 to 64 this is 288 is what we are getting so we are getting the x as 288 so the next two numbers can easily be obtained by adding 8 to the uh, first number we've got as 288. Second multiple will be 288 plus 8. 
and third multiple will be 288 plus 16. So, the required answer is, therefore, the required numbers, the required multiples of 8 are, consecutive multiples of 8 are, आप required numbers दिखेंगे वो भी चलेगा तो required numbers are 288 अब 8 को add करते हैं फिर to this we'll get the next one 296 and the last one will be x plus 16 that is 288 plus 16 so what is 288 plus 16 you can do that in the rough work इसे rough में कर लो इसे इस portion को add किया हमने so we get 304 so three consecutive multiples of 8 are all of them are multiples of 8. You can check for yourself. तीनों को अगर 8 से divide करेंगे, remainder 0 ही आएगा. Check कर सकते हैं आप, यहाँ पे 8 divide, 3 to 2, 8, 8 divide by 8 is, 8 to 24, 36 आता है quotient. यहाँ divide, just check 296 divide by 8 करके देख लीजिए. 24, 94, how much we get? 37. So likewise 0 also you can check. All of them are divisible by 8. यहाँ भी ये divide करके देख लीजिए इसे multiple of eight अब इनका sum two eight triple eight रहा चाहिए let's check that all of them are multiples of eight no doubt but let's check the sum is coming out as triple eight if it is not coming out then there is a mistake yes it is coming out all of them are multiples of eight and consecutive also and plus the sum is triple eight so answer is correct so we can say with confirmation that these are the required numbers Okay, let's continue with the third question. Now, this is again on the numbers, application of linear equations to number-based word problems. Two numbers, this time we are given the ratio of the numbers as 5 is to 3. If they differ by 18, what are the numbers? So, ratio diya hua hai. So, ratio ka matla hai, ek number 5 uh, is to 3, matla 5 by 3. We read this as 5 is to 3. 5 colon 3, symbol of colon here stands for ratio. So, 5 is to 3, 5 upon 3 दिया हुआ है, आपको दो numbers का ratio. So, 5 upon 3 का मतलब है, lowest form में दिया है. So, if they are multiplied both of them, because in other words, that means, the two numbers are multiples of 5 and 3 respectively. So, ratio का मतलब है, आपको दो numbers का हमें comparison दिया हुआ है. किस comparison में है? 5, for every 3 part of the first number, say first number is, second number 3 है, तो first number 5 इसका मतलब ये नहीं है. So, it means that the second and first number, the first number is multiple of 5 and second number is multiple of 3. And the ratio always is written in the lowest form. Lowest form means that after common factor cancel is what we get the ratio of the two numbers. So, it's in the kind of a fraction form. So, we can write down this ratio of the two numbers is 5 is to 3 as 5 upon 3. Because we have to find these numbers, we don't know exactly what the numbers are. We just know that these numbers, from the ratio, we just know that these numbers are multiples of 5 and 3. The first number is multiple of 5 and the second number is multiple of 3. So, let the numbers be taken as, so, as we can write numbers ko 5x, 3x, because the ratio lenge, to x will cancel out and we will be left, left with 5 is to 3, the 5 upon 3. So, we take the numbers to be 5x and 3x. So, ratio means, we know that the numbers are multiples of 5 and 3 respectively. So, we take the numbers as, so we start the answer like this. Now, let the numbers be, let the two numbers be taken as, the two numbers be taken as 5x and 3x. So, first number is a multiple of 5, second number is a multiple. Multiple, multiple means table, 5 ke table mein aata hai, 3 ke table mein aata hai. Aur ye dono x hamne common kyu liye hai? Because in dono ka ratio jab lenge, x cancel out to jata hai, the common factor will cancel out and we will be left with the ratio. That is in the lowest form, simplest form. That's why we took x as a common factor. So, 5x and 3x is le liya hai. x is a common factor of the two numbers. Now, the numbers have got difference 18. That is what given in the question. According to the question, 5x or 3x mein difference kya diya hua hai aapko? 18. So let's use this equation, solve this equation. 2x is equal to 18. So this aapko x ki value mil jayegi. x is equal to 9. Therefore the numbers are, x ki value aagai. Common factor mada dono numbers mein aage 9, 9 hai. Dono ka common factor 9 hai. Numbers kya hua hai? 9 times 5, 9 times 3. 5 into 9, 3 into 9. Therefore, the required numbers are, therefore, the required numbers are 5 times 9, that is 5x, 
फोर्टी फाइव हो गया फाइव नाइन फोर्टी फाइव एंड अदर नंबर इज थ्री टाइम्स एक्स इज थ्री टाइम्स नाइन दैट इज ट्वेंटी सेवन वी गॉट द नंबर एंड दीज नंबर यू कैन क्लियरली सी द डिफरेंस इज एटीन तो फोर्टी फाइव माइनस सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन करके देख लीजिए डिफरेंस निकाल के देखिए यू गेट एटीन सो आर आंसर इज राइट सो वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन We can do one more question based on the ratio. Okay, one more question on the ratio. Again, on numbers. Uh, so we can just see number of boys and girls here have been given in the ratio of seven is to five. So in a class, we are given that the ratio of the number of boys to that of the number of girls is seven is to five. That means the number of boys are multiple of seven, and the number of girls are multiple of are in the multiple of five. The common factor is same, and when we cancel out the common factor, what we are, what are we left with? Seven upon five. That is the ratio of boys to girls. So, what is the common factor? So, the common factor को हमें निकालना है पहले उसको x मान लेते हैं. So, the boys and the girls are in the ratio of seven is to five. Let's assume. अब बाकी information भी दी हुई. We'll read it. We'll understand it as as and when we complete this first step of assumption. स्टेप हम एजम्पन ही लेते हैं टोटल क्लास स्ट्रेंथ टोटल नंबर ऑफ बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स निकालने हमें सो लेट्स अज्यूम बिकॉज द रेशियो इज गिवन सो वी कैन डिफाइन द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज एंड नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स हेयर एस लेट द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज बी बिकॉज इट इज सेवन इज टू फाइव सो सेवन स्टैंड फॉर द बॉयज एंड फाइव स्टैंड फॉर द गर्ल्स दैट इज सेवन टाइम्स एक्स इज नंबर ऑफ बॉयज Multiple of seven boys are in the multiple of seven and girls are in the girls are in the multiple of five. So let the number of boys be seven x and five x. Okay, the number of girls be and the number of girls be assumed as and the number of girls be five x. So when you take the ratio upon carrying a ratio means you have to take the Uh, divide the first quantity by second. So divide number of boys by number of girls. What do we get? Seven is to five in the lowest form. So what this ratio is? Through the ratio, we get an idea of how many uh, uh, each of are there. We just get to know that first and second multiples. Which multiple is it? Seven ke multiple number of boys are in the multiple of seven, and number of girls are the multiples of five. Are in the multiples of five. So the girls or boys ki hume number of कि गर्ल्स और बॉयज की स्ट्रेंथ पता है वो भी एक्स में पता है तो एक्स निकालना है हमें अभी एक्स निकालने के लिए व्हाट इज गिवन दैट द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज इज एट मोर देन द नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स नंबर ऑफ बॉयज इज सेवन एक्स इट इज गिवन एट मोर देन द नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स इट इज इट इज द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज व्हिच इज सेवन एक्स इज इज मतलब इक्वल टू इज ये स्टैंड ऑफ इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू नहीं लिखा है बट इट इज द मीनिंग इज सेम द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज इज Eight more than eight plus the number of eight more than the number of girls is equal to so is clearly equal to आ गया the number of boys x seven x है is means equal to is equal to eight more than means eight plus the number of girls you can even write five x plus eight ये reverse भी कर सकते हैं addition is commutative you can very well do it so like terms you can be brought on one side so we can bring five x on the left side. All the x terms and the constants you can leave on the right side. So two x is equal to eight. So we get the value of x as eight divided by two. That is four. The value of x is four. This value of x will give you the number of boys are seven into four twenty eight. X again as the number of boys clearly seven into four okay twenty eight and the number of girls are five into four twenty. So the next step you can write down the number of boys are twenty eight. And number of girls are five into four twenty. And clearly, the total class strength निकालनी है. Total class strength क्या हो जाएगी? Total class strength will be number of boys plus number of girls. Twenty eight plus twenty कितना हो गया? The total class strength is forty eight. So total number of students in the class are forty eight. That's what you have to find out. So try this. Try such questions on your own. Okay, this question on the application of linear equations is on the perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool. You know the perimeter of a rectangle you've done in the lower class. The formula of perimeter of the rectangle. What is the meaning of perimeter? Perimeter का मतलब क्या होता है पहले? Perimeter is the total boundary length. It's called the perimeter. If you say rectangular means rectangle क्या होता है? You understand the meaning of rectangle? The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So length 
ये लेंथ एल मान लेते हैं ब्रेथ इज बी लेस से सो लेंथ ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल इज एल लेस से ब्रेथ ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल इज बी सो पेरीमीटर मीन्स सम ऑफ द लेंथ ऑफ ऑल द बाउंड्रीज पेरीमीटर का मतलब होता है बाउंड्री की लेंथ टोटल लेंथ ऑफ द बाउंड्री बाउंड्री की लेंथ क्या है यहाँ पे एल प्लस एल प्लस बी प्लस बी सो पेरीमीटर ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगल का फॉर्मूला आपने किया होगा इन द लोअर क्लास इन यू एड इट इज टू एल टू एल प्लस टू बी सो ये फॉर्मूला इफ यू रिकॉल टू कॉमन ले लें तो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला दैट यू हैव स्टडीड ऑफ द पेरीमीटर ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल सो पेरीमीटर इन दिस केस ऑफ स्विमिंग पूल रेक्टेंगुलर स्विमिंग पूल का पेरीमीटर दिया हुआ है वन फिफ्टी फोर मीटर सो यू ऑलरेडी गिवन द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दिस स्विमिंग पूल एज वन फिफ्टी फोर पेरीमीटर इज वन फिफ्टी फोर सो लेंथ हमें दी है लेंथ और ब्रेथ में रिलेशनशिप दिया है वॉट इज द लेंथ योर लेंथ इज टू मीटर मोर देन द ट्वाइस इज ब्रेथ नोट ऑन दिस वेरी केयरफुली लेंथ इज टू मीटर मोर देन मीन्स प्लस टू प्लस ट्वाइस मीन्स टू टाइम्स द ब्रेथ सो लेंथ इज टू प्लस टू टाइम्स द ट्वाइस मीन्स टू टाइम्स द ब्रेथ लेंथ इज क्या मान लीजिए यहाँ पे लेंथ है टू टू प्लस टू मोर देन ट्वाइस मतलब टू टाइम्स इट्स ब्रेथ अगर ब्रेथ बी है तो लेंथ है टू प्लस टू बी अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन अगर आप दोबारा इफ यू जस्ट गो टू द क्वेश्चन गो बैक टू द क्वेश्चन अगेन द पेरीमीटर इज गिवन एज वन फिफ्टी फोर रेड डाउन फर्स्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन पेरीमीटर इज वन फिफ्टी फोर एंड द लेंथ ऑफ द रेक्ट एंगल इज गिवन एज टू मीटर मोर देन मीन्स टू प्लस ट्वाइस टू टाइम्स इट्स ब्रेथ सो वी हैव द लेंथ वी हैव द ब्रेथ जैसे बी मान लेते हैं इस क्वेश्चन में ज्यूम द बेथ टू बी बी लेंथ को हमने बी के टर्म्स में लिख लिया है नाउ पेरीमीटर का फॉर्मूला आपको पता है टू टाइम्स एल प्लस बी सो वी कैन बिगिन एन आंसर लाइक दिस आंसर लेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट द ब्रेथ बी एज्यूम डेस लेट द ब्रेथ ऑफ द स्विमिंग पूल बी टेकन एज ऑफ द रेक्टेंगुलर स्विमिंग पूल लेट द ब्रेथ ऑफ द स्विमिंग पूल बी टेकन एज बी यूनिट्स Units मतलब we don't know meter centimeter yeah, it's already given meter so we take it meter units are given b meter so let the breadth of the swimming pool be b meter दिया हुआ है so perimeter का formula हमें पता है और length के बारे में हमें inform relationship दिया है length और breadth में क्या relationship भी दिया है length is two more than two plus twice the breadth so the perimeter is given so perimeter is given as one fifty four meter So use the formula perimeter, which is two times the so perimeter. के जगह पे भी write down the formula perimeter. अब इस equation में we have got the equation, but it's a linear equation, but it is not in one variable. And in the chapter present chapter is on one variable. So we will write down length in terms of breadth. L को लिख लेंगे b के terms में as two plus two b. B as it is लिखेंगे. We keep the b as it is, and we write down length in terms of breadth as length क्या लिखेंगे two. Plus two b, breadth as it is. So ये लिख लिया हमने l की जगह पे two plus two b. Now you've got an equation, a linear equation in one variable. Earlier we had a linear equation in two variables. So we have now converted it into linear equation into one variable by writing down l length as in terms of breadth. अब ये हो गया इतना तो you can now solve, start solving. Like terms are there within the bracket two b plus b like terms हैं. थ्री भी हो जाएगा एंड देन वी कैन ओपन द ब्रैकेट नाउ ओपन द ब्रैकेट टू टाइम्स टू टू इंटू टू फोर प्लस टू इंटू थ्री बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी आपको आती है मल्टीप्लाई ऑल द टर्म्स इन साइड द ब्रैकेट बाय दिस टर्म टू आउट साइड द ब्रैकेट टू इंटू टू फोर टू इंटू थ्री बी सिक्स बी सो वट डू वी गेट द लाइक फोर वी कैन ब्रिंग ऑन द अदर साइड सो वी गेट सिक्स बी इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी फोर माइनस फोर That is, we get six b as one fifty four minus four. कितना हुआ one fifty. So we get the breadth of the rectangular field as one fifty divided by six. How we divide it? Why we divide by six? You understood that equation? किया हुआ था इसको. Six b है तो six को अटाना यहाँ से divide by six on both the sides कर देंगे. So one fifty divided by six. So b is one fifty divided by six. You can bring it in the lowest form. Six to the twelve. So we get twenty five. B as twenty five. Breadth of this rectangular field is twenty five meter. And length कितनी होगी फिर? Length solve कर लीजिए. Length क्या? Two plus two times twenty five. So length is two plus twenty five into two is fifty. 
So length of the rectangular field is 52 meter. We've got the length, we've got the breadth. That's what we had to answer in this question. So try this question on your own after this. All right, children. This question is again on, um, like my previous question was on rectangle. This is on, again, on geometry. It's on geometry, one of the geometrical figures, triangle. So the base of an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means a triangle whose two sides are equal. You must have done in the smaller classes. Isosceles triangle is a type of triangle whose two sides are equal. So base, this is the base. The base of this isosceles triangle is given as, this is the base, it is given as 4 upon 3 centimeter. So the base of this triangle is given as 4 by 3 centimeter. And uh, the perimeter of the triangle is, perimeter ka matlab kya hota? I like the previous question, we said the perimeter means length of the boundary. Total length of the boundary. Boundary length is called as a perimeter. So this perimeter, make what, what all things come in this perimeter of the triangle? Three sides, two equal sides plus this base is what the perimeter of the triangle is. Two equal sides ko hum maan lete hai. Let's say the two equal sides be assumed as x. So that you can write down right now. Let the equal sides of this triangle, as this triangle be assumed as b x meter, centimeter. Centimeter madhya, centimeter. So let the equal sides hamne maan li x centimeter. Now because the perimeter mein kya aata hai? Perimeter means the boundary length. So perimeter of the triangle is given according to the question, the perimeter is given as in the mixed fraction. Mixed fraction ko convert kar lo aap in proper fraction mein. 15 into 4, 60. 60 plus 2, 62. 62 upon 15. So this is the perimeter of this triangle. 15, 4, 60, 60 plus 2, 62 upon 15. You can check again. We've converted the mixed fraction into improper. Perimeter of this triangle will take into account, take into consideration the two equal sides. The two equal sides is x plus x will come. So x plus x plus the space is equal to 62 by 15. So we have written the perimeter of this triangle to and equated it to 62 by 15 as per the question. Now we can add the like terms 2x plus 4 upon 3 equal to 62 upon 15. Bring the like terms on one side that means the terms on the left hand side we have one is x term the other is a constant. Bring 4 by 3 on the right side. So we get 2x equal to 62 upon 15 minus 4 upon 3. Then we can uh, take the LCM of the denominators. 15 or 3 ka LCM kya because you have to add, subtract these two rational numbers. Fractions jise minus karte hai. Denominators same karenge pahle. 15 or 3 ka LCM kitna hota hai? 15 hota hai. This common multiple of 15 and 3 is 15. 15 is already there in the denominator of the first rational number. The numerator will remain as it is. Minus, to make uh, this 3, 15, we have to write down 4 upon 3 as an equivalent rational number with denominator 15. So, 4 by 3 ko likhna hai as, as if denominator 15 may convert karna hai. 3, 5 is 15 hua. Same number you will multiply in the numerator also. So, the 4 by 3 ka equivalent kya jayega? 20 by 15. This way, we can now subtract 62 and 220 in the next step, which gives us 42 upon 15. Let's solve the value of x now. Twice of x is 42 by 15. So, x kit now jayega. Divide by 2 on both the sides. Some, some children come, do not understand this step. Divide by 2. Divide by 2 on both the sides we get. If the 2 cancel, okay. x is equal to 42 by 15. Divide, kaise karte hai? We multiply the first number by the Reciprocal of the second. To two say, by reciprocal 1 by 2. Ho gaya. That's how we divide two rational numbers. X is equal to, then you can cancel out 42 by 2. 2 ke table mein aata hai. 2 is a common factor. 2 into 21, 42 hota hai. You can check it. So 21 aega. And 21 upon 15 is what we get. This can be brought in the lowest form. 3 ke table mein dono aate hai. So 3 is a common factor of the denominator and numerator. 3 7s are 21, 3 5s are 15. So what do we get x as? And remember x yaha pe kya x is the one of, equal size, x is one of the equal size. So the two equal sides are 7 upon 5 centimeter each. So therefore our answer is the two equal sides we were asked to find. We 
you got it as 7 by 5 centimeter. You can also write this answer in the mixed form. Divide 7 by 5. Mixed form में कैसे आएगा? आपको mixed form में लिखना lower classes में सिखाया होगा. Question यहाँ पे यहाँ पे dividend f dividend f 5 divide करेंगे 7 से 5 को तो quotient आएगा 1 remainder आएगा 2. So you can also say two equal sides in the mixed mixed form mixed fraction form is 1 2 by 5 centimeter. That's the answer and we can try more questions of this type. These are all the questions that are are taken from exercise 2.2. You can try examples from 2.2 on your own.